be able to make this one work. Slevin might get punished by Pasha if he's not careful, though. Going to see the elevator drop coming from YZM, but there is a toxic babe that's been detonated in the doorway. Joystick just trying to make a gentle challenge as well. Doesn't want to overcommit. Groovy taking a little bit of damage elsewhere. It's in garage against those Kiba barricades. But what a big double from Slevin and Savage to open things up for versus Slevin's two secret in. swarming over Sart here. Does the looking good? But then from deep, we have Dan picking up one, Dan. picking up two. YZM. Getting that diffuser down, though. Going in for the plant, yeah. If he looks to his left, he'll find his man, but looks the wrong way! Blinded by his scope, and YZN finds his man. That could have been so different for Virtus Pro, but Team Secret off the back of the Decay be charging in through sights. Secure round one. That is all... transient, Des, and it's been destroyed now by oh, those the Again, the miss. That's detonating Shepard here. He just seems to get away with everything, but not that one. As Savage manages to find the man from the window, they have to go for the hatch drop. 20 seconds left to go, and Joyce it picks up the first, the cap can trap on the second. <laughs> Secret, you can't be giving away lives like that. 2v1 now as Astro finds a double. That is a big, big moment from him at the end of the round. Pasha manages to find Savage. It's all up to Astro. He's got three kills in the round. Can he make it four? It's a ring oh! around the roses on Pasha. He's going to find his man. Pops up from behind the desk and sends him out of the round. And that's going to be Virtus Pro levelling things up. 1-1. One, one. One angle from the window to Janitor Wall um, to make it difficult for the player. Uh, Pasha in this case to stay inside of here and play exactly this angle. Oh. Nitro, bad throw. Um, but the Selma charge was taken off, I think, by Shepard on the castle. Um, and so not having any left is going to create a lot of security for Virtus Pro in and around Janitor. Pasha, it is himself managing to get those couple of kills. Joystick finds one onto Savage as well. Um, and they might well just rue not being able to clear that area of the map. Again, they're really kind of trying to poke the bear here as well as they're stepping on fours. There's just crossfires coming in everywhere against the members of Secret. Groovy's the last one left standing. No drones left, no information. We know how this round ends in the last 20 seconds or so, Tim, which means 2-1 to VP inside the first three. Not all that bad. Yep, yeah. joystick. And I think that just cleared away two of them so far inside of the site. So a good starting point for Secret here. And we've got the Monty trying to work his way up and through. But Groovy finds his man on that little pixel angle underneath the Azami Cuba barrier. Dan gets slammed there. Um, just trying to hold on to servers. And again, a uh, rough start for him in another round. Sleber manages to find Pasha. And it doesn't look like the basement is going to be uh, damage onto joystick. They have to stop exposing themselves to this hatch, Des, because it's going to be the end of the round for them if it continues. Four versus two. A minute left to go. This is a round that Secret should be winning. I'm not sure. Joystick, where you're pushing there. There's a man on main stairs. Savage, slab and finish off the round. Ooh, after a good round, defending in round three, it was a rough one in four for Virtus Pro. Virtus Pro might have the start of a, a successful defence here, Des. She does for a second, yeah. I mean, with Savage being down, he's that backstab player that I was talking about. Now Groovy's the next one making this kind of play, but the laser gate is going to impede him. Two kills coming out for VP. It's basically a 2v5 at this point, Tim, and it feels like Virtus Pro finally figured out this hole to make it work for them. Groovy steps in and finds one for himself. Another one goes down. I was going to say there's only one left standing, but before I can finish that, that sentence, VP have finished him off. Up to three and two, they go on the defensive side, Tim. The battle now being, they've got to change side. Now they've finally cracked what a team is trying to do the very first time you see them playing on that side. Right, Groovy straight up onto the window repel. Not something that they had too much success with last time, um, but Astro is going to pick up a big double. What a start for Team Secret. Joystick can always both oh, go down. Dear, Make it a three. He's taking stock at this point. Absolutely slams Virtus Pro in the beginning of the round, and that is Team Secret best foot forward. Just absolutely blitz them there. I mean, okay, one's coming back. Astro does get taken down. Turns out gods can bleed Asher, as well. Two of the most experienced players that you're going to come up against. Uh, you know, still alive. They're not going to over-peak. They're not going to over-engage. Uh, they're going to wait for their opportunities. Now then, that's good um, from Team Secret. They managed to get nice. Shepard movement, moving. Sleban's there to take him down. And then in comes a final kill. And Team Secret level out the half. 3-3. Three, three. Sometimes start stalling out. The question now is, will that be the case? I love... Oh, I was going to say I really love this for a second because they were wasting time by having multiple hurdles for Virtus Pro to step through. The exact same tactic that BDS employed yesterday. They have kind of cleared over one a little bit quicker here on that step forward. Here comes the Exothermic as well onto the single wall, which I don't think will get cleared off here by an impact or anything of the sorts. But with these walls being soft, it does make it a little bit difficult to do much about. C4 in hand, Slepper's going to step himself forwards here. Got to watch out for the hatch. C4 over the top. Shepard is going to go down to the
the C4. They've got the one at the longer angle, but now there's no cover for the plant when this comes through. It's all going to come down to the hatch, but the drop comes through. It's a two versus two. One's going in for the plant. It's a one versus two. Technically a 1v1. And Basha wins it out for his teammate as he's getting the diffuser down. We just got another look at it there. What a pre-fire from Pasha. But I know, I can't forget where it was, but on one of the maps before, there was like a real small angle that you got between two reinforcements on different sides. Not here it's going to happen, though. They're on the march forward. Quad Ball, he knows that he's on the ground like a snake. But Pasha strikes, sinks in his fangs. A 3k in the round for him. Looking almost towards an ace before Joystick denies it away. But one thing's for sure, Tim. This round is going the way of Virtus Pro, and they'll go up to five and three. Almost certainly. Savage tries to um, get the vertical angle. He can get one. himself one kill, but that's going to be not. the limit, surely. surely not. Um, as you see, no. Virtus Pro <laughs> scattering, but they're Where's unable to get out of the line of fire. They're going to be looking no to way. get that diffuser down. No way. Somehow, in comes a third. He's going to have to drop the hatch. It's see being it. watched. There goes no. the plan. Joystick with the final kill, but that was far closer than it ever should have been for Virtus Pro. <laughs> We're playing exactly the same game. They're thinking, you can do it, I can do it even better. going to get caught out this time. <laughs> Always is sat watching. He knows exactly when the man is coming. It's as easy as that. But it's, ooh, I was going to say likely uh, to not be too impactful, but two kills come back and all of a sudden we're in a 2v3. Des. This 2v5 looks a lot more possible right now, but the pulse could be a big problem in Beautiful. that scenario. I'm and that is exactly why. Pretty sure that was pre-placed on the hatch as well. It's the second time they got away with this this half as well. It's really good stuff coming out of secret. Groovy's there. Finals out for the close and Joystick goes down. 5-4 to Virtus Pro. After a little bit of a wobble then, um, Secret managed to get themselves around back. Of the potential of a jump out from Team Secret, given we had two out of these windows in the last round alone. That's it. It kind of makes it difficult for you to focus. Pasha, as I said, going Slevin. well um, on the attack. Going to take down Slebin with a headshot. Oh, 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 Coming in, going to take down Savage with a headshot as well. And Pasha oh really my, starting why? to find his feet. I mean, we're peeking into everything. And Virtus Pro, just like, thank you very much for the freebies. 5v2, 5v1. They are destroying Secret as they're scurrying around the map and just sat there a little bit too leery. And the thing is, they don't blame Secret. We know they're great gunners. They want to go for these gunfights. But Pasha especially is just activated today. For Virtus Pro, it's a flawless round. Six and four and match points. But no. See, this is what I like out of Secret is they are wasting time up here as well. They're putting up these Zara barricades, creating new problems for Virtus Pro this late into the round. That's going to slow them down and impede them to the safe. They've just got to go for it and try and win their gunfights, which again, they are very good at. But Dan, who was on half HP, found out by a headshot from Astro regardless, 4v3. I think again, Virtus Pro are thinking towards that possible plant denial. YZN, Savage managing to get themselves too, but they're pushing underneath to try and take out Astro because they know how impactful that is. gunfights. Don't pad out his KD anymore. It's already looking pretty stacked up in this game. Seven and two since the rehost. And I guess a small little side comment to make it before we get into our next round. It is nice to see Pasha playing so well again. I was yeah. referenced back in, I think it was late 2020. There was a we'll be able to also open up the wall, which has been left soft onto the plant spot. Yes, they left it soft last time round, but opened up a couple of like small holes onto it, so you couldn't firmly place an exothermic on it. They did get away with it in the end, though, unfortunately, so not quite, I think, what Secret were going for. Savage just being down a distance as well. A great bullet coming through as the nade rolls on through, but it's not going to find his man. Either they drop and go for this push now, or he's back on his feet. Looks like he's getting up for free, because no one's coming in from Garage either. That's going to put Savage back onto 20 HP. Um, nothing on Savage Honestly, to be able Dan to get him anymore. Dan, Dan needs to with stop! A great double right across sight. That's 4v1. Surely this is the moment for Virtus Pro. They're going to take Bank Des. They've managed to get that diffuser planted. It's all up to Savage. He was down. He was picked back up. Surely he can't do it. What a story. No, great Joystick play. shuts him down. And Virtus Pro take the opener on Bank with a great 7 5 win. And a great little hot switch. Today they certainly seem to be. Mm. They've got the vertical, they know there's a player held down here inside of Wine, but not going to be able to find him, because why the hell would you step forward in this case? You could shoot out the top of that wall and look to get the angle through with a nade, potentially, but at this point, why would Savage expose himself? Going to keep on waiting as an aid in hand comes through. Man steps off, but Dan's a little bit too quick, gets the shut down as well. That's a 2k for Joystick. Why would Savage expose himself, Des? Yeah, why would he expose himself? Why would he do that? Inside at the minute, Virtus Pro have got those breaches done, but are not looking to get themselves inside until Dan is now sneaking down West Main. Is he going to get himself taken out. That's unfortunate timing for YZN. He was really in a position to be able to win that, but Dan steps in, gets one, there gets two, goes. and that's going to be Virtus Pro taking our opening round on Charlie. Shock horror. It's Dan doing big work in the round as well. I think a 3k secured himself in the end of that one. Big loss of utility there uh, for Team Secret. The difficult one is they're really relying on Pasha and his sole smoke grenade in his back pocket here to make this work, I think, but 
I mean, good night, joystick. But I don't think it's going to work out because you've got a Warden on the other side. You've still got the Jaeger and the Wamai. That's a lot of utility to really shut this one out. So no matter, try as he might, even with Shepard now being down as well, he's left all alone. It feels like, Tim, this map is going to start out the same way that Bank did, but one apiece for either side. Yeah, it certainly looks that way. Team Secret have had less of a presence uh, around the map, something that we spoke about coming into it. Uh, they've kept themselves on site. They've focused on that area. Virtus Pro have played actually much more directly to site as well. There was no well, attention. Which might not be too considered when you're on that march through. Maybe more looking in towards things like windows and maybe more entryways into the map itself. So keep a close eye on that. And Joystick just waits and Groovy, of course he does, exposes himself a little. It's even better for Virtus Pro, arguably, than they did last time. Joystick's still convinced that there's a player inside of here, but he was gone a good 30 seconds or go, or so. Um, 30 seconds ago or so. That was what I was looking for. Now he's actually worked his way back up. So while Joystick has now finally figured out that he's dropped, he's about to step back in once again and maybe even lose out to him. He does indeed. Savage has really gone around the ring there, but came away with the desired outcome. Two kills in the round. And it once again looks like Secret. I've got a bit of a smell of Virtus Pro now, Tim. Even getting out in the map and challenging them directly, they are coming away with the majority of these gunfights. Yeah, much better from them, particularly, as you say, in the gunfights, which was a, an important area for them to improve. Savage can't find the final man, always does get the kill, but it's 1v3. Unlikely to see a win from here. It'll need to be a monumental effort as he comes direct into sight. Shut down from blue. Slebin finds the final one, and that's going to be Team Secret taking the lead too. They have got what they need to start thinking about and execute here. The verticals have been set up. C4 over the top, but gets shot out by Shepard, as always brings down Astro. It's going from, well, good to great here, I guess, for the as pro. Pasha just going to hold that position for the time being whilst all the other sort of cogs in the machine move around him and start thinking about access into side. Savage is on oh a boy. late flank here. This could be damaging if they're not aware of it. They just need to try and hold on. It could be that time factor that we've spoken about. Shepard has diffuser in hand, but here comes Savage. He's looking for one on the top floor, gets himself a freebie, but surely the reaction must be there from Virtus Pro. It is. He manages to find himself another with Shepard being down. That's the diffuser. It's all all going wrong, Des. The kills are no! raining in, but somehow Joystick goes massive in the final two seconds and rescues the round for Virtus Pro. He's going to find Savage as well, but again, not giving VP room to breathe is a really good way to push back on their attacks. But VP are matching that aggression blow for blow, and even in some cases, coming out ahead. But here, it's 3v3 with half the round still to play. Savage gets finished off after that beautiful little bouncer off the door frame. Love to see it. Joystick, he's going to be pushing right on through sight. Virtus Pro are in a powerful position here. You can see Secret are having to rotate away. They're having to play from outside of sight at the minute. Back on Planting. into it. Shepard is in a position to start planting. He's going to hold that, but Joystick gets shut down. Shepard will complete the plant, but now finds himself Time. 1v3. Cut down by Slebin, and that's going to be Team Secret on a successful retake. They just sort of... In as well, assuming, of course, he doesn't fall off, wants to go onto the defence. Nay's still coming on through. They know exactly where Groovy is, and yeah, to, to kind of give it to Groovy, he's not kind of been deterred by by the aggression coming out of VP. He's always looked for really early gunfights. It's Savage, the one being shut down here from the bathroom side. Groovy now again is back at Windows once more. He struggled to make himself known for much of this game, but again, has not been deterred. Ooh, going to lose his gunfight there, though, as Joystick manages to put him to bed. They want to keep themselves alive and continuing on through this decider bracket. They don't want to find themselves down in last chance quals, so they know that they need this one. Nitro goes out and gets its man. Astro taking down Joystick. Really thought for a second Joystick might find Astro there and just deny the C4 opportunity away from him. That would have been a three versus one for YZ and all by himself. Wouldn't have felt good and you would have given this round to VP. But with that C4 coming off and the time it has, it's a game of milliseconds sometimes, Tim. And the fact they got that kill, this is very winnable for Secret. And they could find themselves going up to four and two in the first half. Always is just going to blast open that soft wall, try and extend the angle down on into sight. But with 15 seconds left to go, you just feel that they're clutching at straws a little bit here. Always, however, manages to find Astro. This is doable if they can stick this diffuser. Shepard is oh, going to go for it. The they don't know where YZN is coming from, but he's not going to be able oh. to stop the plant. And that is once again advantage Virtus Pro as Shepard manages to shut him down with the final kill. And that is going to be 3 3 at the half. And there's on a rotate. Yeah, yeah. He'll get himself one. Oh, he just 
sees the man too late. He'd already taken his shots and given away his position to Savage. Oh. He's going to be hunted down. He's stuck in between the two. He gets one, surely not two. No. Does he know no. the second's coming? Oh, Joystick! What a play from him! What a great read as well. Groovy had the right intentions, but the wrong execution. YZN all by himself. They're getting someone back up on the feet. Sees them both, but Joystick, my God. Goodness, the Terminator is back. Uh, honestly, I, I take it all back, Joyce. I don't know. Yeah, I quite enjoy playing Oregon. I, I really don't mind. Fair enough. Well, we're going to see them continue through this round here. Secret, that is. Continue to open things up. And, of course, there's a crossbat on the go as well, which means it could have a free finish off. But no. Seven steps in, finds Joystick. God has been silenced. And they may now still have a chance to pull their way back into the round. Well, this is where you start getting your question answered, isn't it? You know, are the other players quiet because Joystick's killing everybody? Or are the other players quiet because they're quiet? Um, you know, that's what we're going to find out. Flash comes in, going to full white always. Needs to just be conscious of the push potentially coming through. I think it was more to facilitate the pickup. Astro is back on his feet now. Um, always is going to be uh, having Shadows. an opportunity. He knows he's coming. It's a freebie and this kills elsewhere. There's what a swing in manpower. All of a sudden it's four versus two for Virtus Pro. Always can do no more but his job is done. Three versus two and YZ and an Astro have got a big Take way. Problem. A key player. Astro might get a freebie here as he's stuck in no man's land. It gets the down onto Shepard. Two versus two with 30 seconds to play. I'm not sure that they're aware Shepard's down though. He sent the second nade in but hasn't gone looking to confirm that kill so Shepard can at least feed a bit of information but that's too easy Astro just walks through but Dan and Pasha get the job done and Virtus Pro they take themselves a comfortable lead now moving up to 5-3 well, why does that matter why does holding on to the top floor matter how does that work for a basement defence the hatch will likely be open just inside of this wall, which is the, oh, the common shield. plant spot. So you can't ignore them then as attackers. That should what never a happen. Shot from YZN. Uh, okay. Uh, excuse me. Hello? Okay. I mean, I'll give it to him. That was pretty good. That. Uh, yeah. No matter what the score is, all you can do is win one round at a time. And oh, Pasha. Fantastic. No! From them, but Pasha with a huge double opener. <laughs> This is ludicrous. Absolutely ludicrous how this round's been going. The fact that YZN, YZN, sorry, has almost managed to walk in towards sight is one thing. Oh, he's on the round, but forgets about the mirror inside the box. And Shepard with an easy shutdown with the ITA of all things, too. They get the close out they're looking for. And again, no. Joystick's the one holding inside a bathroom, and you've got this like, little soft hole open up through, straight from bathroom, up towards top side. But sadly, from below, there is all the joy to come through. C4, I believe that was coming out from Pasha. Puts him on his backside, but Astro is recoverable. Ooh, oh, beautiful Pasha. challenge from Pasha there, taking down Groovy. Oh, Groovy leaving man. us now in a four versus four. Only if Astro can be got back on his Another feet, but he C4? can't as Dan manages to find the nitro kill. Just detonates as death reverberates as oh Pasha my God. always find kills. It's almost over for Team Secret. Their fate hangs in Savage's hands, but there is nothing that he can do as always comes in with the final kill. Secret lose their map choice of Shally and Virtus Pro. Take a 2-0 win to continue through the bracket.